Bentley in car, take three, two, one. Hey, I'm Ollie from Quicksilver Exhaust, and you join me in the new Bentley GT W12. I'm here with our director, Paul Goddard, who's been at the helm here at Quicksilver since 1973. We've mic'd this car to oblivion, and we're gonna take you on a drive so you can hear what the system's like to live with every day. Straight away you will hear those pops, bangs and burbles are much louder inside the car. And we're heading uphill as well, yeah, so it's true, putting yeah. a bit of extra load on the engine, which is generally a good test as it drops itself down into that eighth gear. Are you going to hear that drone? Is there any horrible noises? And even actually with the ski hatch open in the back for the mics, um, very, very civilised in here. Yes. We can turn on Radio 3 and listen to a bit of Debussy. <laughs> Click of your OE switch. Yes, yeah, a click of the original switch. Yeah. Um, and it, it, actually, it is important to note that as of today, that's Friday the 12th of July 2019, we have only ever seen one other competitor system for this Bentley, and that uses pneumatic valves, which is, they're still present in some cars, but as far as this car is concerned, that's old school tech. If you're using a competitor system with pneumatic valves, you're having to tap into negative intake pressure under the bonnet, and there's a whole lot of intrusion into the car's existing systems. Whereas with the Quicksilver, it's completely plug and play. Take off your two clamps at the back, slide on your new Quicksilver Active Sports boxes, plug in the factory valve harnesses, off it goes. It's that simple.